One of my favorite things about the Mac is the way that you promote yourself. ESPN, I think, was a big win. I think you've been very progressive in, in playing on random nights of the weeknight and getting a national audience you wouldn't otherwise, a stage you wouldn't otherwise get to stand on. Is, is there anything you can share with us about how you did it? Any Anything we can learn from and why the Mac is so prominently featured on ESPN? You know, it's interesting. The midweek football, if you want to go back to the history of it, and for people who don't track it as much, in our conference in November's, we play predominantly midweek games, largely Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And so for that last month of the season, we do that. Really, if you want to point to the father or the grandfather of midweek football, I'd point to Mike Slive when he was commissioner at Conference USA. He partnered with Chuck Gerber, who at that time was a senior VP at ESPN. And they came up with this way to build out windows for Conference USA to, to get some exposure. Mike eventually went on to the SEC. Conference USA decided they didn't want to continue that. My predecessor jumped on it and they were able to capture those slots and we started it. Then I came on board and we've continued it and augmented it, been able to increase the revenue we generate from it from our TV partner. And then what it's done is we're really, it's the rare thing in college football that you have a day or days to yourself. You know, you think about a typical college football Saturday, there's 900 teams across the country playing football or whatever that number is on those days. So it, it's a very busy space. And so there's not a lot of TV time slots, among other things. And so these windows give us, whether it's two games, four games, six games, whatever we're televising that week, that's our own infomercial for our institutions and for our conferences. And from that came this branding of Maction where we had high scoring, exciting games, lots of action. And somewhere along the way, this phrase Maction was developed. And so yeah. we jumped all over that and we've just taken it and continued to build on it and build on it. And it's, you know, we're one of the few conferences that has a, a catchphrase like that. You say that people know what it means. This platform has also allowed us to take this, what was a really nice regional conference five states all it's a nice compact geography we all mean something to each other but it allowed us to build a national brand for our institutions and our athletics programs so our coaches could go anywhere in the country and there's high school coaches high school players their parents they knew us they knew they could see us all of those things were valuable in assisting us in building our program and so it's a lot of this is chicken and egg stuff which comes first i think you have to have all of the things you have to have really good programs. You need to have vehicles in which you can expose your programs to lots of people. And then you need to be fortunate and have exciting games and have some success on the field. I think without all of those things, you know, let's go back six, seven, eight years. We had a Jordan Lynch at Northern Illinois, ended up third in the Heisman Trophy race that year. We ended up going to an Orange Bowl game. We have a team in the Cotton Bowl game, all these types of things. I don't know if all of that comes together without some of these exposure opportunities we've taken advantage of. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm sure campuses hate it, but I'm also sure Conference USA would just love to have that back if they could turn back time. It's fascinating now. Virtually every conference is now playing some type of midweek game yep. somewhere along the way. Yep. Now they might be picking up a Friday here and there or a Thursday here and there. Couple others are delving into a couple of days specific spots here and there. And so football has become more and more of a every day of the week type of game. Now, clearly, we take a month and, and do it, but it's been fascinating. You talk about the schools and the fans, and we do ask a lot of our fans because it is different, right? Part and parcel of the American collegiate football experience is that whole day type of thing. You go early, you set up the tailgate, and you have this these wonderful social interactions yeah. with friends and family and all sorts of people. Clearly in the midweek, that gets truncated a little bit. Sometimes makes it more difficult if your fan base has to come from further away. Does create some challenges with that. Sometimes there can be some challenges on campus issues with parking and all that, although we've navigated that fairly well. So there are some trade-offs. But I think our schools have managed that very well. I am very appreciative of our fans who indulge us with this. And we're appreciative of our TV partners 
for the exposure opportunities we now have.